Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we have yet another video that is actually backed by popular demand. Last year we did an IFA 2015 video about what's in our bags featuring Bharat than me. And today we are actually doing a what's in my bag video which has all the contents of my bag that I'm carrying during IFA 2016 that's happening in Berlin. So we have Siraj behind the camera and he's currently shooting on a Panasonic Lumix GH4 and we have a Gizzo tripod as well as head. So now that's clear, we'll go ahead to whatever I have in my bag. So let's start with the phones itself. So we're carrying five different phones basically. I have the S7 Edge, which is my primary driver. This is the black variant. This uh, is my primary driver. I'm using the local SIM card in this. I have a Galaxy Note 7 as well, and this is a review unit. So the review will also be coming out pretty soon on Phone Arena, so you can take a look at that. This is the dual SIM variant as well. We have the LG V10, this is the champagne gold color and this takes really really good photographs as well as manual video. If you notice that the IFA intro that we shot this year as well as the MWC intro that we shot earlier this year was taken by the V10 itself and we didn't even rely on our dedicated cameras for that. Next up you have the Note 5, that's mainly because I have a chat sim in this so anywhere I go even if there's no internet I can actually get access to WhatsApp for free. So I have a chat sim in that and it's configured to use chat sim based on the APN. So that's why I have a dedicated phone for that. And next up is the P9. We're still testing it. We're bringing you a few more articles. So this year is the white variant of the P9. We're using this as well. Uh, then I have a smartwatch. I actually didn't carry any analog watches, even though I'm a person who loves analog watches. I actually carry just this digital watch this time. And this is the Titan Jux Pro. I'm actually reviewing it. So I just wanted to test out how the uh, you know, step tracking works, sleep tracking, etc. So this here is it with the charger as well, as well, the docking station. Then we have a set of two battery packs. So this here is the Anchor 20,100 mAh. It has a USB Type-C port as well as two USB Type-A ports. We also have the Mi Power Bank, the 20,000 mAh Power Bank. And the reason we need so much is primarily because we have a lot of usage during this. Uh, event especially IFA where uh, it's going on from say 30th of August all the way until September 7th so all the time we need to be constantly charging our devices we might not even get time to charge all the devices at once so we'll just have this and additionally this can also power the camera which I'll come to later so this can even provide power to the camera in case we run out of batteries or run out of charge and lastly we have the MacBook Pro Retina here. It's the same that you saw in previous year's video. This is actually a mid-2012 that I purchased in August 2012. 16 GB of RAM, i7 and uh, uh, there's you know a solid state drive etc. So performance is so good and uh, over the years it's been really reliable and I've taken it to so many events including MWC, IFA, CES etc. So that's done with the things on the left side and now on to things on the right side. So this is more of the shooting sort of gear. Uh, so Let's start actually with the chargers because these are not really shooting. So this here is an anchor charger. It's a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 charger and you can use this with a phone in case you need some power really fast. Then I have an anchor power brick as well. So this can charge six devices at the same time. This is not Quick Charge 3.0 compliant, but at least it can charge devices all at once. And we have several micro USB and USB Type-C cables as well to charge this. Then we have the Sony A7R2. So this here is the latest camera that we have acquired at Phone Arena. So this comes with a 2470 lens. We have actually purchased the G Master lens for this. And this is what we'll be using mainly for video as well as photo during this trip. Uh, apart from that, we also have two lenses, two Nikon lenses actually. So this here is the 85mm lens. This is f1.4 in terms of aperture. So you get really nice bokeh when shooting shots and you get that tight frame, especially when you're taking some shots of the phones, which come out to be handy. Uh, we also have the Nikon 1424 f2.8 lens. This is again a great lens. It provides really great sharpness end to end. And uh, we also have a Metabone speed booster on this. Since the Sony a7R2 can't actually take Nikon lenses natively, we need a speed booster in order to adapt this and fit it onto the a7R2. Then we have the Gear 360 camera. The use is pretty much limited, but we just wanted to try and experiment and see how 360 degree videos come out, especially in events like this. We're not really sure whether we'll be doing it for all the events, but we'll definitely try and bring you some content from the show flow using the Gear 360 as well. Next up, you have 
the audio technica this is the quiet point uh earphones active noise cancelling earphones i'm sorry and uh, this is a review unit i'll be reviewing this as well and listening to music on the go for example we also have the vmoda crossfade 100 inside this these are the headphones that we're using actually to monitor the audio levels and stuff like that and now on to the other sort of gear the external gear that we're using so this here is a benro tri uh, monopod so it has a three-legged system so which provides additional stability we also have a tripod that siraj is using that is the gitzo tripod it's a carbon fiber tripod and it has a gitzo head as well so this is a benro monopod and in most situations we'll be using the monopod since it actually gives you a bit more of access or reach and makes it easier to shoot in situations such as ifa where you know there's quite a lot of people quite a lot of crowd and if you have a tripod it actually occupies a lot of space and there'll be people bumping into it all the time so if it's a monopod it's just straight you can keep it in between your legs for example and shoot and it becomes much easier even for panning and tilting so then you have the bag so this here is a bag that i've been carrying for several years this is the think tank street walk uh, hard drive so this is a bag that contains a lot of stuff in 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 the sense all these stuff actually go into this bag and it's actually pretty pretty big in terms of storage space and the reason why i haven't got a trolley bag is the fact that when you have so much gear they occupy so much weight and when you have a trolley bag the trolley also carries weight and that simply brings down the number of equipment you can carry on board a flight due to the baggage restrictions so this has compartments inside which uh, can actually hold dslr safely thanks to the padding etc and you have a laptop sleeve at the side you have multiple pockets on the outside and inside for various gadgets and most of these gadgets i'll be carrying in my uh, pants as well and now comes one of the most important things is basically the microphone so i'm actually using a microphone to record this and sir so i have a this is the transmitter so this is the sennheiser g3 wireless and siraj has the receiver at the other end so this is a wireless pair of earphones you can actually attach your own microphone to this but in this case we're using sennheiser microphone as well you can even attach a third party microphone if you want and this is something that comes in handy especially at events if you have a wired microphone it sort of works well and you don't have to rely on batteries but the disadvantage is that you have a wire dangling down and people seem to walk across you all the time and that sort of uh, disrupts the flow it, they can even uh, stumble upon it and stuff like that so then the wireless uh, microphone actually comes in handy and the other important thing is that you can even go a bit further away than you could with normal microphone even though we have a long microphone that we use it can't really it's not practical to actually stretch it out all the way and that might keep the wire taut and keep it high so in a way this is actually a much better implementation to use a wireless thing the only thing is that we might have to change the frequency since there are a lot of people at these events some might be using the same frequency and that might cause interruptions and we can even get the other person's speech on the same audio track as well so in, we have to adjust the frequency accordingly but overall it's a really good experience so that was a quick look at what's in my bag from IFA 2016. If you have any questions regarding this gear, do let us know. We'll actually be providing you purchase links for all these items, which was available online. You can actually purchase them if you want to. And if you have any questions regarding any of the gear, or if you have any questions regarding IFA 2016, do let us know in the comment section below. And see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.